What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to some more Little Root Lettering. So this week we are playing uh, NG's um, <laughs> Choice Scarf Obstagoon team. So if you haven't checked out Sunday's uh, Little Root Showdown video between Carl and myself, I am now on a three-game losing streak, this time by 2 HP. Um, but this team is super, super cool. So we have Choice Scarf Defiant Obstagoon as a way to uh, mitigate and... Deter your opponent from bringing the Intimidate Mons in the format, namely Incineroar and Landorus, um, because we're backing that up with Kartana, who, I mean, doesn't really care about sand, Dra uh, Dragovish, who thrives in sand, and of course Tyranitar, who sets sand. Um, as you see, we have Surf on our Obstagoon to be able to trigger policy on Tyranitar. Uh, Tyranitar, pretty common to carry weakness policy anymore, it feels like. Um, so being able to trigger it yourself, because your opponent most likely is going to play around it, being able to trigger it yourself and just go ham is fantastic. I believe NG was talking about how this team has a problem with, like, specifically Life Orb, Dynamax, Eliki. So as to answer that, we have Thunderous here with Volt Absorb. We have Therian Form Thunderous, not something I've actually played with I don't think ever, so pretty excited to get uh, get my hands on that and actually see how we can do. And then to round out the team, we have your standard your standard Togekiss here with Babiri. Uh, so I'm excited to play this. Looks super cool, super interesting, and honestly, it it just is going to catch people off guard, right? People aren't going to expect the scarf on Obstagoon, and I'm just, I'm very excited to get in and actually play with this team and try it myself. Um, as I mentioned a little bit in the showdown, when NG submitted this team, I felt like Carl and myself were both immediately going to be drawn to it to be able to play it, and uh, as a result, I picked a team to be able to beat it, and I still lost. So, you know, whatever. Uh, so our opponent's going to blow up his, uh, their Bocephalon here next to Heatran for Flash Fire boosts. Um, they also have Meowstic, Dracovish of their own, uh, Venusaur, and their own Tyranitar as well. So, personally, I really like Obstagoon. I like... I kind of like Kartana. Like, I think Obstagoon Kartan is pretty okay. I also could just bring, uh, like, Dracovish Togekiss. I really want to bring Titar as well, just so Dracovish is, like, powered up. Like, I like everything here except for Thunderous, and I'm not saying Thunderous is bad, I just, I don't think it lines up particularly well in this matchup. So it's like, how do we, how do we deal with this? I think I'm going to go Obstagoon Kart with the sand mode in the back. I feel pretty okay with this. Um, we have to watch out if our... Actually, I don't really care for this. I would rather do Obstagoon T-Tar, I think. Uh, just thinking about this a little bit. If... If, uh... This is... I believe Blacephalon outspeeds Kartana. Just want to confirm that. Where is my... Google... Hello? Help? There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. Yeah, it looks like our opponent's going to try to blow up here. Um, but I want to see if Placephalon outspeeds Kartana. I can't remember off the top of my head. Kartana is 109. I believe Placephalon is faster. 107, so actually no. But, um, I mean, we can just snarl here. Like, I really like Snarl, and I like, um, kind of want a Darkness, kind of want a Quake. Did we see an item on the Heatran? We did not see an Air Balloon, so we could just Quake into that slot. I could also just Rock Fall into the Blacephalon, pick up a KO on it. Actually, I'm going to Quake the Blacephalon. Uh, get that special defense boost. 
<laughs> yep, opponent is going to max their heat train, it looks like. Which this is pretty okay for us, I feel. I'm probably going to see a Steel Spike into Tyranitar. Could also see a Flare to set Sun. Could see a bunch of different things here. Like, Flare into Obstagoon to get rid of it while setting Sun could be a play. If that is their play, then we can just bring in Dracovish and uh, Ficious Rend that thing and remove it. You can also substitute with, uh, with Dracovish to stall out our opponent's Dynamax as well. Yep, there's the Mind Blown. So they are also Scarf, it looks like. Not really surprised to hear that. We're gonna get the Snarl off. We actually missed the Bocephalon, but we hit the Heatran, and that's kind of what I cared about. And uh, we actually did see the air balloon. I'm really glad I, I snarled there, actually. They're going to trigger our policy. So this is actually pretty great, because now we get to fire off another snarl with uh, Obstagoon here as well. And suddenly we have a uh, plus two T-Tar. So we will delete the Blacephalon. Something this this is a like gimmick I kind of worked on early in series seven I believe, uh, just like blowing up Lacephalon next to your own Heatran, and it it was fun. Uh, I never really did anything good with it, but it was definitely fun. Yep, there's the Weenusaur. Uh So again, I'm just gonna snarl here. I bet they actually. I think this turn I want to go for Rockfall because they could Flare. I'm going to Rockfall into the Venu. Alright, we connect the Snarl on both. Get that special attack drop on both. Is Venu faster than my T-Tar? Are they going to be able to... Uh... Well, now they definitely are. This is exactly why I wanted to go for the... Uh, the Rockfall here, just to remove their sun immediately as well. Question is, do they go for Sleep Powder here, and... No, they just go for Friendly Plant, which is not going to be enough to remove my Tyranitar. And what is actually great about this as well is, now they're stuck there for another turn. And by stuck there, I mean going back in their Pokeball to their trainer. Clearly what I meant, people. So I can bring out Kartana, but I think Dracovish is just better here for us. Um, this turn I'm actually going to... I'm going to substitute with the Dracovish. I think if we get a substitute up and <clears throat> they don't target it down, we just win. Uh, bringing out Meowstic here is actually kind of not great because... Obviously they can do shenanigans. They can go for the fake out here, so I'm going to just protect. And I'm going to darkness into the... Uh, into the Meowstic to remove it. Would love to get to show off the uh, the substitute tech here, but unfortunately, with them having fake out here, it's not gonna not gonna work. We should live this. Oh yeah, by a mile. Titar is so bulky; it's insane. So like, sure, they're at plus two defense. But we also have a Kartana in the back with Sacred Sword, so, like, kind of doesn't matter. Also, we have a plus two, uh, we have a plus two T-Tar and a Ficious Rend boosted by Mystic Water here, so, like, I don't think it really matters, to be 100% honest with y'all. All right. Dynamax is over. We picked up three KOs in ours. Opponent picked up uh, one. So, getting those snarls off was actually really critical for this game. Uh, I am actually going to protect. Uh, not not protect. I'm going to substitute. I'm gonna. I'm just going to keep this Dracovich along around as long as possible, 
and we'll go for the protect this turn on Tyranitar, just to completely wall our opponent, and make sure that they can't pick up the KOs, and you know that this game is going to be secured. So that is game number one with a W on the board. Obstagoon coming in clutch. Actually, Obstagoon was very critical for that game. Um, the fact that we were able to get the Heatran to minus two, so we were just able to live all the hits coming into it, was just critical. Um, so, yeah, that was great. That was great, great, great. And that's the thing about Tyranitar is people just trigger your policy for you. So, like, we have the Surf, but we don't need to go for it. This looks terrifying to put it bluntly um so we have urshifu mimic you grimmsnarl p2 umbreon and registeel this actually looks really terrifying i'm not gonna lie uh kartana kind of just goes ham here to be 100 percent honest with y'all so we really need to preserve it as much as we possibly can the question is how do we what do we do to actually get there I like Obstagoon, I think. I think I like Togekiss up front as well. Uh, if they are Trick Room, I really like Tyranitar. And then I think Kartana is going to be our last one. I think I think it's going to be those four in some order. Obstagoon probably just going to come in and knock some items off. And Togekiss is going to apply a little bit of pressure here. More importantly, keep the obstacle alive so we can actually apply a little more pressure. Seems fine. Like, if we can get uh, a knockoff into the Umbreon, get rid of its lefties, get rid of the Eviolite on the P2, like, this team becomes way more manageable. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, could be Clay on, on the Grimmsnarl. That is going to be P2. Ingram Snarl. I'm pretty okay with this lead, to be 100% honest. Um, this is a free trick room for our opponent, but kind of don't really care. Um, we'll go for the knockoff. This should be fake out, right? This should just be fake out. And then we will go for the D-Gleam. Try to chip away at this. Uh... What? What is going on? What? Is this Max P2? Is this Max P2? I actually feel pretty okay about this still. I am concerned, yet excited. Yeah, there's the fake out into Obstagoon. Not really surprised. There's the D Gleam. Actually does really good damage to the uh, the Grim Snarl. There's a Max Strike. If this doesn't pick up the KO on the Obstagoon, I feel real good. Unfortunately, it does. Like, had we got to get the knockoff off, I feel like we're in a pretty okay position. But even still, I think we're okay. Like, what's the chances they have an answer to T-Tar? I can just bring in T-Tar go for some horsepowers here. Or some Max Quakes and, uh, like, just boost our special defense. Like, pick up the KO on this, uh, this Grim Snarl and just stall out our opponent's Dynamax. Kind of wish we had switched into Tyranitar like I originally wanted to. Um, I know I obviously didn't talk about that, but... Yeah, we'll go for Quick into Grim Snarl. They don't have any flying types to switch in, right? Nope. Okay. And then, yeah, we will go for another D-Gleam. They want to Hailstorm into my Tyranitar. I'm pretty okay with that because that just means... Um, no, 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 no. A Hailstorm would not trigger policy. Rock is not weak to ice. Ice is strong against rock. But ground is weak to ice. I, I, I don't understand it. I've never understood why rock isn't, but... Whatever. I... Sure. There's fake tears into my Togekiss. Should just be trying to pick up a KO into it. And it's fine. Tyranitar is the fastest thing on the field. What? 
Not quite enough to pick up the KO, but we do get that special defense boost back onto the Togekiss. So we're only at minus one, so we might be able to live a max strike. Oh, and they do have Hailstorm. Okay. Unfortunately, not enough, but, uh, you know. Losing Obstagoon here actually was kind of a hindrance because we weren't able to get the, uh, the knockoff into the P2 like I really needed. Grimmsnarl should go down to hail. Yep, yeah, okay. So the, the correct play this last turn was to protect Togekiss. But we're doing we're doing okay. We have A V on this Kartana. Um, clearly the fastest thing on the field. Uh, they're gonna bring in Mimikyu, which we can actually just like bop them. Uh, we'll go for a rock fall into the Mimikyu. And we will go for a smart strike into the Mimikyu. Break the disguise. And then uh, hopefully pick up the KO. Reset the sun. Uh, reset the sand. Luckily, this. Uh, like, in this instance, I'm actually really glad that we are. Ooh, Phantom Force. Interesting. Interesting. I was expecting, like, Will-O-Wisp or something along those lines to uh, threaten my, my team here, but Cartana should live this like a champ. Like the champ you are. So we broke the Sash. We wasted a turn of our Dynamax, but, I did, like, this is honestly one of the glories of having... Uh, the ability to max P2, like, they didn't even download. Like, they're not even downloading, they still maxed it. So, that tells me that was their plan all along, to be 100% honest with y'all. Uh, we'll quick into the P2. We will Sacred Sword into the P2. Just try to get some decent chip here. Yeah, this, sh this double up should pick up the KO. Uh, unfortunately, Cortana is going to go down, and it's going to be a 1v2, but Titar is pretty nasty, so... And we're going to be at plus 2 special defense. It's not enough? I honestly expected that to do way more than it did. No freeze? Okay. Well, this is awkward... Um, P2 goes down to Hail next turn, most likely. But they also have Recover, most likely, as well. So I think our play this turn... Um, man, if they have Registeel in the back, this game is going to be very difficult, I feel like. Actually, I don't really like our odds, regardless of who they have in the back. If it's, like, Umbreon, if it's... Um, yeah, Umbreon, Registeel... Obviously, we missed the Mimikyu. We connect on the P2, so that should pick up the KO. Okay. Question is, opponent, who is your last? That is the real question. The fact that Phantom Force also breaks Protect is really annoying in this instance. Yep. Cannot beat that one. <laughs> not, not even going to try. Um... <laughs> So, honestly, losing Obstagoon cost us that game as well, because um, had we been able to get the uh, knockoff into the... Uh, get the knockoff into the P2, I think we win that game, because then it just becomes a non-threat. Super interesting game. Was not ready for max P2 today. And I think that's one of the glories of it, is people aren't. People are never ready for it. Bulu, man, I like what our opponent's doing here with Bulu, Urshifu, Ensign, uh, got Clefairy, you have Spectre, and of course, Reggie Rock. Uh, Obstagoon is going to go ham. They're going to give me a Defiant boost, they're, they're going to just look silly. Uh, Thunderous actually kind of looks appealing too, just like generically good offensive pressure here. 
Uh, we also have Electro Web for speed control, so then we can outspeed the Spectrier. We can Snarl it. Uh, obviously, Obstagoon already outspeeds it because of the Scarf, but... I like Tracovish. I like Titar. I like Togekiss. I mean, I, I actually really like everything in this matchup, I feel like. Um, I think I like Thunderous. I like this lead. And I really like... I think it's just Titar Dracovish in the back, maybe. Puts on a ton of pressure against like Reggie Rock and like late game Urshifu. Late game Urshifu is kind of actually a problem if this is my my plan, but Dracovish just goes ham. Yeah, I think this is fine. I want to substitute with Dracovish. That's all I want to do. People will never see it coming. Ensign Spectre. Hey, thanks, opponent, for the uh, Defiant Boost. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to Dynamax the uh, the Thundee here and just go ham. The problem is, I mean, we could honestly Dynamax Obstagoon now that we got a Defiant Boost. But I think... I think I just like going for knockoff here. I don't really want to snarl. I think I just want to get locked into knockoff into the Spectre. I'm going to lightning the Ensign slot, I think. They don't have any switch ins for this. They're going to withdraw the Spectre. They're going to bring in Clef. Well, that's going to lose its Eviolite, so I'm pretty okay with that, too. Like, getting locked into knockoff here is actually pretty great for us. Just means we get to put on a ton of pressure against everything they have going on. I wonder if this is parting shot into my, uh, my Thunderous. That'd be kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Also, the fact that we don't have a flying move on the Thunderous is kind of bad, because they could have Bulu in the back. Nice Evil Light. Out of here. You know, thanks to Friend Guard, that's like even next to Friend Guard, that still did a ton of damage. Alright, alright, alright. So, what's the play? They're going to Parting Shot into my Thunderous, which is kind of annoying. Kind of not the end of the world. Give me your Spectrier. Bring it back. Uh, actually, that's kind of bad. No, they're going to bring out Urshifu. I mean, okay. I mean, they just follow me with Clef, right? So I'm going to go into Dracovish here. And now we have... Uh, a pretty, pretty powerful Max Lightning into Clef. Yeah, based on this, uh, they really want to Dynamax that Spectrier. So preserving the Ursh uh, the Obstagoon to uh, threaten it thanks to Scarf seems really appealing. Clef goes down, even at minus one. This is actually great because this is going to bait them to bring out the uh, the Ensign now as well. Surging Strike should do approximately like 3 damage. Sorry, I was really close, guys. I forgot to account, uh, account for the crit. And yeah, they're going to be back out Spectrier. So what's actually great about this is I can switch out my Thunderous into Tyranitar if I really wanted to. And then uh, we can sub with Dracovish this turn. Is that good? Honestly, probably not. 
Um, but what we can do... We're at max speed, correct? We are not max speed. Um, NG, you and I need to have a talk, my dude. I don't understand why we're brave Dracovish. I mean, we'll Psychic Fangs the Urshifu, and we'll Max Lightning it. I want to try to delete it. Yeah, they're going to withdraw. This is actually kind of bad. I should have should have seen this coming. Uh, they probably tried to still take out my Dracovish here. Probably max their uh, their Spectreer. What's actually great about this is we haven't revealed we're Scarf on Obstagoon. I mean, well, maybe we could just say that we're a th slower Thunderous too. Obviously, they're gonna max. Uh, they're gonna max the Spectre here. But Ensign's not gonna like this Max Lightning either. Max Strike. That's coming off of a Hyper Beam. That should take us out. Yep. This is fine. We're fine. We can snarl. We can knock off. We could also parting shot. I think Snarl's probably just a better play. Especially when we pick up the KO here on Ensign, which we're actually short. I was really hoping that uh, at minus one we would have enough there, but not quite. So I'm actually going to bring out Tyranitar this turn and just click uh, just click double protect. Stall out a turn of our opponent's Dynamax. Get a little more chip damage in on this Ensign if they stay in. And then the uh, the Ensign is actually within, uh, it looks like two chips of hail. So we'll double protect. I really need to get Thunderous out and go back into Obstagoon so we can uh, not only get rid of the special attack drop on Thunderous, but get Obstagoon safely back onto the field. Because the problem is, is like Thunderous is our real only pressure against the the Urshifu in this endgame. They're going to max strike. Another reason we want to uh, get Thunderous out of here... So now we're at minus two speed, and that's not great. They are life orb as well. Spectre is going to take chip. Ensign's going to take chip. Thunderous is going to take chip. See, so yeah, I think the play this turn. I want them to trigger my policy. I'm going to crunch into the Spectre. And I'm going to switch out into Obstagoon. Hoping that uh, they target that slot down. While also still somehow triggering my policy on Tyranitar. Come on, Titar, you got this. Titar, you don't have this! Ugh. Oh, I wonder if that crit mattered. Like, we get the special defense booster being in sand. I wonder if that crit mattered. That's unfortunate, because now they're plus two. I mean, Obstagoon still outspeeds them. Pending that we don't get taken out here. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. And Instant's actually going to go down, so now we can bring out the... Uh, like, we get to reveal that Obstagoon is faster than Spectre here, which is kind of okay, in my opinion, because now I get to bring out Thunderous. Thunderous should, should outspeed um, Urshifu, right? Ooh, ow, that hurt. Thunderous is 101, Urshifu is higher, I believe. Oh, no, Urshifu is 97. Sweet. So we can actually... I don't think Electroweb does anything here. I'm just going to Thunderbolt this Urshifu. I can knock off the Spectre here, because I think that's I, that's going to be more damage. And then we're locked into to knock off here. Yeah, we outspeed the Spectre. They should protect this turn, I would think. 
They protect the Urshifu. Is this KO? Oh, thank goodness. Obstagoon, you're insane. Obstagoon, you are absolutely insane. And we knocked off your life orb. Take that, Spectrier. And now we break a sash on the, the Urshifu as well, which is pretty critical, all things considered. So now we just Thunderbolt, we knock off, and Obstagoon is going to get extra damage here off of the knockoff. Yeah, this this was... Losing Tyranitar to the crit, obviously not great. Uh, they are also plus one, so there's a non-zero chance that we don't take that anyway since they are Dynamax and Max Quake is going to do a, a large chunk. Um, but I, I definitely think I played this game pretty okay. Thunderous actually holds on to it, too. Going to knock off your Focus Sash. And Thunderous hangs on to get the Thunderbolt off into the Urshifu to pick up the KO. So, 2-1 today. Feel pretty good about the games we did win. Uh, and more importantly, Obstagoon got to come to all three games. It was pretty critical in all three, if you want me to be 100% honest. Um, had we preserved it for the second game... Then it could have uh, it could have done major work. So overall, pretty satisfied. Pretty pretty satisfied with everything we got to do today. So let's. Uh, I want to see rank. I want to see where we're at on the rank. See if we're top two thousand still. That win probably doesn't pull us there, but pretty close, I'm sure. And then we'll throw up the rental code one more time and uh, go from there. Not quite top two thousand. Pretty close. But let's throw this rental code up one more time. And, uh, yeah. Pick this up. Team's great. Team is fantastic. I absolutely love it. So, uh, that's going to be it today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back later this week with some uh, more Obstagoon laddering. Have a good one. Peace.